Well, that was a lovely day in Ipo yesterday. So this is our second day here in Ipo. We woke up really early in the morning. It's about eight o'clock. For research or where to have uh, breakfast here in Ipo. It's called Kedai Makanan Nam Hyong. This place is absolutely jam packed. We didn't get a seat inside uh, the shop, but they made this, uh, they got this alleyway and turned it into an extension of their uh, restaurant. What is here? Egg tart, which is probably one of the best here. And then we ordered some white coffee, we ordered some eggs on toast, and we ordered some uh, noodle. I always forget the name, char kway something. It's, it's, a, it's a tongue twister for me. One of the things that I uh, personally noticed about Ipo is um, it's a very sleepy town. Uh, there aren't as many tourists as you would expect. Uh, but still it's got its own charm like you've got some a lot of old rustic buildings uh quite wide roads and to be honest though the locals here are actually very very nice like the, there were two ladies in our accommodation they were very kind and helpful and all the people that we met the different restaurants and street side stalls they were very very friendly and genuinely wanted to help so I would give like a five star for people here in Ipo. So this is like Ipo's famous white coffee. Good. I think you will like the hot one. It has a unique flavor. It's hard to explain. It's actually not that strong. More on the milder side, I think. Is it? I'm still getting accustomed to Malaysian coffee, so I think it's an acquired taste. It takes a bit of time. One of the things we noticed here in Ipo, which is really interesting, is that if you come to one shop, the all of all the other shops around them they work as a community so you can order like you can sit in one shop but then you can order food from different shops and they would come and take money from for say one item so, so everyone wins like you know like you share customers you know why this ektar is good it's because it's not that sweet having noodles for breakfast is very good no, I can finish one whole bowl. All right, so we're going to finish up our breakfast right now and then head out to the next place. See you shortly. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. A first time. A first day. You're so fine. I'm so late. You sip one. What the guide here told us is that there are basically two lakes in this particular vicinity. So there's lake one and there's lake two. So the lake two, we're waiting to take a boat ride. The boat ride opens at 10 a.m. So we'll first do the boat ride here in the second lake and then we'll walk uphill. It's 150 meters walking. And then we'll go to the lake one, which is the um, where we can see the point, the viewpoint of the mirror lake. Okay, so we have a change of plan. We're not taking the boat ride at this point of time because Yara needs to go to the toilet. We are just walking uh, uphill 150 meters to the other spot. So black, said I'm falling fast. Don't remember life before you, that's fast. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. A first time, a first day. So Asked him, has people fallen from the boat? He just looked straight in my eyes and said, yeah. <laughs> The fisher? Yes, yeah. the fisher. Snakes? Uh, snakes only in, uh, in water. No. Oh, okay. The other one has said that it has monkeys. So ah, this yeah. one has monkeys sometime, too? Sometimes uh, monkey come here. Okay, inside the tunnel has some uh, water dripping inside. And don't touch any stone or rock. Okay, water dripping here. So there, you can see water dripping here. Whoops. Whoops. It's quite low actually. And if you're a really tall person, it'll hit your head. <laughs> 
When did you guys find this tunnel? Uh, we find this tunnel uh, last year. Last really? year? Yeah. Very What? recent then. Uh, yeah. But uh, the Mirror Lake one, uh, we already know from uh, 2010, I think. 2010. Oh, okay. Uh, mind your head. Oh God. Mind It your head. So low. Yeah. Are you liking it? Yeah. This is a oh, nice water experience. Is dripping here. More water dripping. <gasps> Whoops. Oh. I think coming to Ipo is worth <laughs> this whole experience. <laughs> oh my God. So actually, uh, this place was a uh, mining area 150 years ago. Mining area? Yeah. This whole place? Yes. It's absolutely blown away by this, the beauty of this yeah. place. Like, yeah. basically, you know, as soon as you come out of the tunnel, you just see this place. Yeah. It's like, wow. Heaven. Yeah, you're just like, wow, because the tunnels are pretty dark and yeah, really small. It, okay. it has oh, a yeah. bit of Avatar vibe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it does. Okay, does. for your information, this uh, color rock, this one is iron ore. Iron ore. Uh, iron. Ah, iron the raw material for iron. Oh. That's what they were like. Yes, that, uh, that's okay. why they're mining it. That's okay. Wow. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Ate. Ate, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh my God. What a fantastic experience. Aren't you glad we did this one? I know. And <laughs> like, oh I'm man. sure the other one would be nice too, but yeah. this one, like, just with the tunnel, the experience just, just, just it was amazing. up there. I think, oh, everyone. How did you like it? You're good? Yeah? Very nice. I think, I think after this. Bye, See ya, Bye. take care. You have a nice day. Bye. Must come to Ipo to try this. It's magical. Yeah. All right, we'll now head on to the next place. We'll see you guys there. We came here to the uh, Qing Zing Ling. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct, but it's like a village, tourist village area where you can sort of see like the history of Ipo and how people used to live here, like a while back but the problem is like this whole place is pretty big and it's totally walking and um we were like you know if we do this right now we might most likely miss our bus and we don't want to do that so on top of that is really really hot so i don't know how much we would want to walk around in this heat right now so we've called the grab we'll go near our hotel yeah i will wipe it sit down in a cafe for a little bit um get some quick bite to eat, then we'll go to the hotel, grab our suitcase and go back to the bus stop. All right, so we've come to this cafe, which is just So such an amazing story, like um, this guy, really famous uh, film director here in Malaysia. Um, his daughter and his son-in-law created this whole cafe slash restaurant in his memory. And that's where you've got all these different films that they've done over a period of time. Some of them like really big hits. And um, yeah, most of the food here is basically in tribute to him. And um, you know, like all the food that he used to like, that's what they make. And they've got another cafe around. Them. I'm sure every one of you have seen the movie uh, by wow. the famous Michelle Yeoh, yeah. okay. like the crazy rich Asian. So yeah. this is the hometown of Michelle Yeoh. So you have a poster of her over there. Light you drink is very refreshing. Mm -hmm. The perfect drink we need before we head out for our bus to our next destination. Another stop after city in Malaysia.